The ice is beginning to form in Hudson Bay, Canada, and the polar bears are making their way across the tundra out to the coast. The bears have been out here on the tundra since the ice broke up in July. Now typically, this is the bears' hungry season. The problem is, under climate change, that season is getting longer and the bears are finding it harder to survive. The biggest threat to polar bears is clearly loss of their habitat due to man-caused climate change. Polar bears get all of their food from the surface of the sea ice. They're highly specialized to catch basically two species of seals, ringed and bearded seals, and they can only catch them from the surface of the sea ice. They can't catch them predictably in open water, and uh, those seals don't come to land very often. So when the sea ice is gone, polar bears are food deprived. Anyone can help in saving polar bears. And that's the great conservation message. Unlike a lot of other species that are being threatened or endangered, often that threat comes from a local situation. And with polar bears, it's really a global conservation issue. We can drive less, we can bike more, we can eat locally, we can eat less meat. And so really anyone and everyone can participate in saving polar bears. The impacts of climate change have been best documented in two areas. One here in Hudson Bay, where we know more about polar bears than we do any place else, and one up in the southern Beaufort Sea, where I spent 30 years studying them. In both places, we're seeing declines in physical stature, declines in body condition of some sex and age groups, and the most important thing we're seeing is declining survival rates, especially of young animals. And when scientists say survival rates are declining, what that means is that more polar bears are starving to death.